Oh, put acid on your face, it's good for you. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I know I'm a couple days late on the start of the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, which is a semi-annual sale that they hold. It's freaking bomb. I think it started Sunday the 18th. Probably by the time you guys are watching this, it should be Wednesday. Hopefully I can get it up by Wednesday. But yeah, I know I missed a couple days, but I figured it goes all the way into April. So I did want to go ahead and come on here and share with you guys some items that I want to purchase or that are on my wish list or just some items that I think are really good deals. I love seeing videos like this to kind of see what other people think are good deals, what other people are gonna buy, things like that. And maybe some of the items I'm about to mention you have been wanting to try and you didn't know they were gonna be on sale. But yeah, so twice a year basically Ulta has a 21 days of beauty sale where for 21 days each day they have specific items that are up to 50% off. You can get some really good deals. So yeah, that's what we're gonna talk about today. Real quick though, if you're watching this and you are not part of my YouTube family, you have to hit that subscribe button. I would love for you to become a part of my YouTube family. But yeah, let's talk some beauty products. All right, so the first one I wanna talk about is going to be featured on Wednesday, which hopefully is today, March 21st. And it is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Normally it retails for $32, which is crazy for a setting spray, which I do have the Glam Glow setting spray, which was I think around that price. But I don't know, this Smashbox Primer Water, everybody raves about, everybody says it's amazing. I actually don't know if I'm personally gonna buy it, but it is gonna be on sale for half off, so 16 bucks, which I think that's a pretty good deal, especially if you've been having your eye on it and you've been wanting to try it. So yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys that you you can get that for 16 bucks. Next thing I want to talk about will be available on Friday, March 23rd. And this item I definitely think I want to purchase. It's the Exuvian's Performance Peel AP25. So basically it is a peel that comes in the form of a pad. So it comes with 12 peels and it comes with the actual peel and then it comes with a second pad to kind of soothe your face. Now what caught my eye about this particular one, I've never actually heard of the brand before. It did have pretty good reviews. And before I even talk anymore, normally it's 77 bucks and it will be on sale for 38.50, which is still kind of expensive for only 12 treatments. But what I was about to say is this actually has a 25% blend of the alpha hydroxy acids and the polydroxy acid, which is glycolic acid. Basically, it's a way to exfoliate your skin using acid, which is really good for anti-aging. It sounds super harsh, like, oh, put acid on your face, it's good for you. But rather than physically abrasive exfoliants, the chemical exfoliants work a little better just because they help your skin to shed and renew and grow new skin growth. This product claims to refine pore size, smooth skin, visibly diminish the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, and brightens the skin, which I think is going to be good for my acne scars as well. So they are going to have a similar product included in this 21 Days of Beauty sale, which is, I don't think till the end, yeah, which is Friday, March 30th. It's the Peter Thomas Roth on wrinkle pads, which I almost was gonna get those instead, but those actually only contain 20% blend of the acids, whereas this one is a higher concentration, so it's gonna work a little better, hence why I'm going to choose this. So yeah, if you're someone who wants to try out a really good at-home chemical peel, this is a good option and it's gonna be on sale. Well, hopefully it's a good option. I've never tried this brand, so yeah, we can try it together. Next thing I wanna talk about will be on sale Monday, March the 26th, and that is two Becca primers. It's the Becca Backlight Priming Filter and the First Light Priming Filter. I have notes, which is why I'm reading. But the Backlight is the goldish color one and the First Light is the purple. I don't know if I'm actually gonna purchase these or not. I do have the, which one is it that I have? I have the Beckett, Beckett. <laughs> Becca Velvet Blurring Primer, 
which I like to use this in my T-zone and I actually really like this. And you guys know I'm not super into primers, but if you are wanting to try a Becca primer, this is gonna be a good deal because they're gonna be on sale for 19 bucks rather than 38. 38 is kind of a hefty price, but 19 is not as bad, especially it being Becca. If I were to choose one, I would choose the first light, which is the purple one. It has prickly pear in it, 70% water. It has ginger, which energizes, and it's more for brightening, while the backlight is more for blurring imperfections, and it gives a healthy luminescent glow. I don't know, the first light just seems more intriguing to me. But yeah, those are going to be on sale for 19 bucks. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. On Tuesday, March 27th, the Lorac Pro Contour Palette is going to be on sale. It also comes with a contour brush. Now this one, I think, is one of the best deals they have. Normally, it's $45. It's going to be on sale for $20. And like I said, you get the brush also. Again, this is a product that I don't know if I'm actually going to purchase just because I have a lot of contour kits. I have the Kat Von D Shade and Light. I have the Anastasia contour kit. But I've heard such good things about the Lorac contour kit. And if I didn't have those two, I would totally be buying this. And again, just the price is so good. I'm still tempted to buy it anyways. But I just don't need to spend that money. But if you're in the market for a high-end contour palette but don't want to pay full price, this is a really good deal for you. Wednesday, March 28th, there are two things that kind of caught my eye. One of them was the Tarte Tardius Double Take Eyeliner. Normally they're $24, which is crazy for an eyeliner, but they are going to be half off for $12. It does have two ends. It has a pencil end, which is really good for tight lining, and then it also has a felt tip end. Now this is one I'm on the fence with. I don't know if I'm going to buy this because honestly, my favorite felt tip eyeliner are these e.l.f. ones. They're like a dollar, but these dry out literally within like two uses. So I always have to buy new ones. And I'm curious to see, I don't think I've ever tried a high-end eyeliner. So I don't know, this is so intriguing to me because I would get to try a high-end eyeliner for half the price. So I don't know, this one I'm still on the fence with. But yeah, I think it's a gonga deal. The other items that will be on sale on this same day are the Estee Lauder Travel Size Advanced Night Repair Serum and the Travel Size Day Wear Moisturizer. I am for sure going to try out the Advanced Night Repair Serum. I have an aunt who swears by Estee Lauder's anti-aging stuff and she looks really young for her age and she's always in the sun too guys. She plays a lot of beach volleyball and has played beach volleyball for a long time and like I said her skin still looks really really good so normally they're $16 each. They will be half off for eight bucks. So I'm like pfft. For eight bucks, I might as well give it a try, see if it's something I like. If you're looking for a daytime moisturizer, you could try the daytime one out. I don't know, I don't really wear moisturizer during the day very often, so it's just not practical for me. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna try out Estee Lauder's Night Serum. Oh, and comment down below if you're interested in seeing maybe a 21 Days of Beauty haul to see what I actually buy, or if you kind of want me to do like a haul review video where I make the video after I've tried my products for a little while. If you're curious to see how I like the products, I don't know, let me know or give this video a like and I can always do that for you. So the next items again, I have two that are going to be on the same day and that is Saturday, March 31st. The first one I am definitely going to be purchasing and I highly recommend you doing it too. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz pencils. They're normally $21.50 and they're going to be on sale for $10.50, which drugstore brow pencils can get up to like eight, nine bucks. So for almost the same price, you're going to be getting an Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil, which is like the OG pencil. I do usually use the BH Cosmetics HD brow pencils, which I always talk about are like a complete dupe for the Anastasia brow wizzes. But the BH Cosmetics ones are like, I think $6.50, which is still cheaper than this sale price. But since they're gonna be on sale, I wanna get me a darker one. The only ABH Brow Wiz pencil I have is in taupe from when I was blonde. So I do wanna go ahead and purchase me a darker one. So yeah, that I definitely will be buying. The other thing that day that's gonna be on sale, which it's not that good of a sale, but the products aren't crazy outrageous price to start with, but that's the Mario Badesco line, which it's skincare. And I talk about all the time Mario Badesco. I really like the drying lotion. I also really like their 
glycolic toner as well. So the whole line, all of their products are gonna be 25% off, which again, like 25% off is not that great of a sale, especially for the 21 Days of Beauty. But if you've been wanting to give something a try, that would be a good day to do it, especially if you're gonna be purchasing online and buying a Brow Wiz pencil. And if you're trying to get free shipping, you can purchase a couple Mara Badesco items to give a try. Like I said, everything I've tried from them, I really like. Really great for sensitive skin. So yeah, I just figured I would throw that out there and tell you guys about it, even though it's not like, oh my gosh, a great deal. Now Sunday, April 1st, you guys, Tarte Shape Tape Concealers for free. <laughs> April Fools, just kidding. But there is a deal that's gonna be going on that day that I actually think I might purchase. I'm like, ugh! The things that I'm gonna be buying are racking up. But it's the Dose of Colors Marvelous Mauve's eyeshadow palette. Normally it's $32, it's gonna be on sale for half price for 16, which I think is a great deal. I've heard so many good things about these little Dose of Colors eyeshadow palettes. I think they have another one with warmer tones, but the mauve palette is gonna be on sale, which is perfect, because I have so many warm toned palettes and I don't really have a lot of mauve-y ones. So uh, I'm really, really wanting to buy this. But yeah, if you've been wanting to try some of the Dose of Colors eyeshadows, this is a great deal, especially if you like mobs. Oh, this next one, again, I'm so tempted, but again, I'm just like, oh, I can't buy everything I want, and this one, oh, I don't know, but I think it's a good product and a good deal. Monday, April 2nd, the Shiseido Oil-Free SPF 42 Face Sunscreen is gonna be on sale. Normally, it's 48 bucks, it's gonna be on sale for half off for 24. Now, if you guys watched my current skincare routine, which I'll link down below if you missed it, but Shiseido is freaking bomb, you guys. I had it recommended to me by a friend who had really nice skin, and he's like, you won't regret it, it's the best. And I started using it, and it really is amazing, you guys. I just, I love the brand. And a lot of you even commented on that video as well, like, yeah, Shiseido is really bomb, I use it. And this sunscreen in particular, it says it has Peonia albifloria root extract. Totally butchered that. But it says that helps reduce the look of visible pores. It also has another type of extract. I won't even try to read it, because I just sound stupid. <laughs> but that. That extract promotes youthful looking skin, and it also says it's suitable for oily skin types, which I'm oily, and I know even if you have combination skin during the summertime, you tend to get more oily, so it's perfect, it's SPF 42, and I do have sensitive skin on my face, so uh, I'm so tempted to just purchase this. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, if you are looking for a sunscreen for summertime, this one will be bomb, Shiseido's amazing. Wednesday, April 4th, I'm definitely gonna be buying this like for sure. And that is the Dermablend Loose Setting Powder, which I have. This used to be my holy grail setting powder. Like I've almost gone through this entire thing, but it's so old. I've had this thing guys probably for like two or three years. So I kind of want to get a new one and I still use it quite frequently. Normally this sucker is $27, but on April 4th, it's going to be on sale for $13.50, which is a ganga. If you have sensitive skin and you're looking for a good setting powder that will really mat you out, this one's bomb. I feel like it really helps control my shine. It helps kind of fill in my fine lines and everything. So yeah, I really do like this setting powder. A lot of people complain that it has some flashback. I haven't really noticed it that much, but anyways, I'm definitely going to be buying that one. Now, Friday, April 6th, there's two items I want to talk about. One of them, the Tarte Tardiest Matte Lip Paint, Creamy Matte Lip Paint, Glossy Matte Lip Paint, and their lip crayons are all going to be on sale for $10. Normally, the lip liner is like $18, and then the rest are normally $20. So most of them are going to be half off. I have gotten a sample size of, I think it was... Maybe it was the creamy matte. I don't remember if it was the matte or creamy matte. I lost it. But I remember really liking the formula. I actually think I might want to purchase a gloss. I've been really getting into glosses more, especially now that the weather is warming up. I don't know. I feel like glossy lips are so spring summery. 
So I don't know, I might wanna purchase one of those, but yeah, if you're wanting to try any of those lip products, 10 bucks is a great deal. And that's one of those items that I never really see like in Marshalls or TJ Maxx. Like a lot of times I'll see the Too Faced lippies there for like six bucks. Even on Anastasia, I'll see for six bucks. But the Tarte ones, I never see. So it is a good deal for 10 bucks, I think at least. The other one is gonna be online only, which I don't know, I probably won't buy, but if you like the Estee Lauder Double Wear concealers, they are gonna be half off. Normally they're $28. They're gonna be on sale for 14, but it will be online only. Just wanted to throw that out there. I've never tried it myself personally. I did kind of take a peek and it did have really good reviews. So if you're in the market for a new concealer and you like Estee Lauder, that one is gonna be a good price. Now the last day I have here is Saturday, April 7th. And again, I have two things I wanted to talk about. The first one is the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray. <sighs> I don't know, I'm not, I'm so torn. I'm not really a MAC girl. I don't know, I just, I used to wear their foundation all the time when I was in high school. Like when I was in high school, MAC was the poop. You know what I mean? But the foundation really broke me out. And I don't know, I just, something about MAC doesn't really intrigue me, but I feel like the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus is like a staple. Everybody uses it, everybody swears by it, and I've never tried it. And I stayed away from it because I assumed, oh, it's MAC, it's gonna break me out, it's gonna have all kinds of bad ingredients. But I looked it up and it actually has ingredients that are really good for your skin. So anyways, it's normally $26. It is gonna be on sale for 13 bucks. I don't know, that's another one where I'm like, ugh, I've wanted to try it out. It is gonna be on sale but am I really gonna use it? Like I said, I don't really use a lot of setting sprays, but if I had a super good one, maybe I would. I don't know. I guess I could try it out, and if I don't like it, I could always like sell it on Poshmark or something, but yeah. Anyways, if you need to stock up on your MAC Fix Plus, April 7th will be your day. The other one I wanna talk about, I probably won't be purchasing, but I know a lot of people like this mascara. It's the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. That one is gonna be half off. Normally it's $23. It will be $11.50, which I think is really good for a high-end mascara. I just, I don't know. I don't really like spending my money on mascaras. I'm more of a drugstore mascara kind of gal. I did try the Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara, which I, I really liked. I thought it was really good, but I'm like, oh, I don't really wanna spend over 20 bucks a tube on mascara, you know what I mean? So yeah, I mean, even though it is 11.50, like I said, I'd rather buy a lip gloss instead or get that Fix Plus spray instead, you know what I mean? But yeah, if you're someone who likes the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, it will be on sale for half off, which is a good deal. So yeah, that is all the products I am going to be talking about today. There are so many more. I know I probably missed some, but I didn't want to make this video too crazy and too long. I kind of just wanted to highlight the items that I for sure was gonna buy or items that I know a lot of people love and kind of more just like, hey, like your, your stuff's gonna be on sale, get it while it's cheap. Also really quick, I do want to tell you guys, Ulta has a really good rewards program. So if you are going to be purchasing from the 21 Days of Beauty, sign up, it's free. And what's nice is their point system, you can get actual money off rather than Sephora's where like you have to save up so many points just to get little samples. I don't know, I think it's better when you get money off your purchase, especially if you're going to be buying stuff anyways, might as well get points for it. So yeah. If you are gonna be shopping there and you're not signed up, sign up. I'm not sponsored at all. I'm just trying to save you money. So yeah, that will do it for this video. Thank you so much for taking some time out of your day to listen to me blab. Comment down below what you're gonna be purchasing from the 21 Days of Beauty. I am so curious. I Like I said, I love hearing what other people are gonna buy and what other people's staple products are and stuff like that. So yeah, please comment down below what you plan on buying if you do plan on buying something. If not, comment down below what's number one on your wish list. Other than that, guys, I'll catch you in my next video. I feel like pirate vibes. I don't know why I like that. <laughs> so cheesy.